Go back to that verse 20. I want you to focus on verse 20, church, because if you, and go back and study this for yourselves. In verse 13, the shepherds were at a place where they were watching the praise take place. And after staying in the presence of God in verse 20, it says, then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told to them, church this morning, the Christmas message is to stay in his presence. Because no matter what your condition is, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter what you might be angry about, no matter what might be hurting you right now, if you stay in the presence of God, you will be able to praise him for the great things that he has done. Even in this text, Mary didn't feel like praising God because she was stuck focusing on what was taking place. And sometimes we come to church and we don't feel like it. We don't feel like coming. We don't feel like standing. We don't feel like singing. We definitely don't feel like going around greeting people when Pastor Sadiq asks you to do so. We don't feel like talking. We don't want to fellowship afterwards. And all we really want to do is check that box and get on up out of here. But church this morning, I want to tell you, regardless of how you came, when you stay in the presence of the Lord, he can change whatever condition you're in. And so it's fine if you don't want to say Merry Christmas right now. But you stay in his presence long enough. You stay in his presence long enough. Brothers and sisters in Christ, you stay in his presence long enough. And just like they said in the text, Merry Christmas might not be enough because what might come out of your mouth is glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, goodwill toward men.